Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably an all-time first. I'm not sure. But this is uh, me listening to my own song on YouTube. Has any other artist ever done that and filmed it? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just bored. All right, here we go. This is <laughs> this is actually the 80s dance mix that we did for uh, a song off of my first album Darren Robbins Steals Your Girlfriend. The song is called Fire from a Stone. And since uh, you know since the statute of limitations has passed, we can talk about our influences. I, I remember seeing the title Blood from a Stone on a Red Rockers album, liking the title. I just didn't like Blood from a Stone. Changed it to Fire and Voila. The uh, studio version is much different from the dance mix, which was the intent. We wanted to create something that was just as fucking over the top as like a Billy Ocean 12-inch dance mix. Throw every bell and whistle at the wall and see what sticks. Here we go. Well, let us crank it. So far we have no music. <laughs> Still, no music. Baseline. I believe the studio had just gotten a Lin 9000 the week before, and boy, did we get our money's worth out of that thing. If only we'd had pitch correction in the 80s. All we had was harmonizer and reverb. What do I remember most about this particular session where we completely deconstructed the uh, studio version? Nothing. Because uh, we actually pulled into Champagne the night before. We actually pulled into Champagne Urbana the night before. Partied our asses off with uh, Glam from the Elvis Brothers and, uh, you know, hit about three or four bars. Seems like we closed every single one of them down. I don't know how that's possible, but that's the way I remember it. And the next morning, we were completely just out of it. And in fact, while <laughs> this dance mix was being created, uh, we were snoozing on the studio floor. So. The fact that our name appears in the credits for having produced this dance mix. We were just there. We were sleeping. The real genius and mastermind behind this dance mix is a guy by the name of Neil Robinson who is famous for having been a member of the soul band Champagne. And you're thinking, hey, he must be, you know, a funky black dude. But no, he's uh, a nerdy little white guy. 
Looks like a guy to be running a computer repair store. But man, he knew his fucking way around synthesizers and drum machines back in 1987. And pumped this monkey out in about 10 hours. Back then, you had to rewind shit and fast forward and fly shit in. There was no Pro Tools. So, I mean, I don't know how he did half this shit even now. I remember how this guitar solo was recorded. The uh, guitarist in my band, Mark Surratt, was a guy named Jim Allen. And uh, he and I were still doing the band thing when this uh, studio version was recorded. And uh, that particular guitar solo was completely out of his uh, comfort zone. He was more of a, a U2 The Edge type player. So the fact that Graham from the Elvis Brothers, who was producing the track, wanted him to you know really start just pounding away and, and get something that has more feel than maybe melody. Uh, he came up with that, and it was fucking amazing. I mean, that was like a one-take deal, and just out of complete nervousness, he happened to pull off a great part. So, of course, we kept the guitar solo in the dance mix. Oh. I remember sending this demo to Jane Reed and see if she wanted to uh, duet on it. I really just wanted to nail her, but um, that's beside the point. She was kind enough to autograph my cassette and send it back to me and say, mm, thank you, I'm uh, not going to fall for that line. Once again, Pro Tools would have been very, very fucking handy. Uh, so anyway, that's another episode.